Have you ever wondered what foods are best for emergency storage? I'm gonna do a back to basics look at emergency food storage. Lately, I hear a lot of people saying, I'm just getting started with food storage or I'm just realizing I need to get started with food storage. What should I store? For people who are just getting started, it can be a little daunting, but we keep getting slapped in the face with reasons why we need to have emergency food storage. And with the really concerning things that we see looming ahead, your food storage is more important than ever. It could be the thing that keeps you alive when there's not enough food to go around. So there's three main things we need to think about when we're talking about food storage. The first, of course, is shelf life. And then the next consideration is nutrition. Our food storage will keep us alive, but it should do more than just keep us alive. It should keep us healthy and keep us from suffering any kind of nutritional deficiencies. And then the third consideration with our food storage is going to be preparation. What does it need to prepare this food? How much fuel is it going to take? Does it need water? How much water does it take? Those are all important considerations when those things could be in short supply.